Hey guys, welcome back to the channel of Jimmy is Promo and today we'll be talking all about antennas for your helium hotspot miner. Now I have five different antennas sitting in front of me here. I also have one more sitting to the side. It's actually too large to fit on the table, but we'll be covering everything from 3 dBi, 5.8 dBi, 8 dBi, and even 10 dBi. And we'll talk about what to look for when you're purchasing these antennas. I'll actually have all of these linked below the video inside the description. All of these I have used personally. They've all done very well. I have additional ones. Usually when I bought all of the antennas, I always bought two of each just because I knew for a fact I would have an additional antenna that I might use somewhere else or maybe just have one for a backup. So these ones are still in their tubes, um, but I'm gonna explain to you which ones to use in which different situations and also to which of them to kind of avoid, which types to avoid. Um, but the only one I can't really talk about is one that's sitting over here. I was meaning to to use this with an outdoor nebra i just don't have an outdoor nebra yet this one is a massive antenna it's about 58 inches long uh, and i plan to put it on a huge pole and it's just really made for outdoors so again all of these will be linked below the video inside the description if you don't really want to skim through the internet or find one that's wrong things like that because again all of these do work with the helium network so the first one that i do want to cover is one that i wouldn't really suggest it's part of today's video it's it's kind of because it's something to avoid so when it comes down to antennas this one here is a 10 dbi it was actually fairly cheap but it was the first one that I bought. I thought that it would have more power if it was 10 dBi versus the 3 dBi or the 2.3 dBi that is actually on all of the rack hotspots. And so when it comes down to it, this was the first one I bought. I thought it was super powerful. It actually did work, um, but there wasn't too many hotspots at that time. When I started, there was only 18,000 hotspots that was up and running. Now this one, it, it did okay, but it's one of those to actually avoid because this one is made of, of plastic and rubber and it's really not going to go the distance that you're looking and also too there's really no need for a 10 dbi antenna to be completely honest i would say that the best one that you should probably get in terms of the highest dbi is going to be 8 dbi so just a second ago you heard me state that i thought the 10 dbi would be more powerful giving me a longer range and that really wasn't the full case now that was when I was brand new to mining helium back in January when there was only 18,000 other hotspots online. And so after doing a lot more research and then after using all of these fiberglass antennas, which all of these are very affordable, they're all between 40 and $60 if you're looking for any of these that I'm talking about today. Uh, but really when it comes down to the DBIs, what you're gonna see is the three DBIs will go up and then out. So it kind of creates an umbrella. So that three DBI or that 2.3 that comes with the rack hotspot miner and also the 4 dbi that comes with the bobcat miner those are really good for if you're in city if you're in somewhere where there's a lot of hills there's a lot of things to basically go over a lot of objects a lot of things in the way and really just perfect for big city downtowns especially if you're on the lower levels you're going to want to have a 3 dbi now if you're somewhere maybe middle of a building maybe dense downtown cities stuff like that uh and you're above a bunch of other buildings but there are still more to cover then you might want to use a 5.8 dbi so this way it does go up but not up as high but it goes out further then you'll take a look at 8 dbi which 8 dbi is basically a horizontal push out so you can go up to 10 dbi there's really no reason for it 8 dbi is probably the best and again all of these should be fiberglass that you're looking for because they have a better gain a higher gain than if you use something with rubber and plastic it's just a better material uh, using the the fiberglass and so when you live somewhere let's say downtown a big city again we're going to stay with all the big cities here but this is if you're on the very top of you know the skyline you're somewhere above all the rest of everybody else that is where you use the 8 dbi so we talked about a bigger city with all the different dbis and the different levels of your building and where you live so let's talk about like the rural suburban area so for me i'm using a 5.8 dbi so this way it can go up and then out i was using a 3 dbi for quite a long time and it was doing a very good job but i did find one additional witness that you know it was there from before but i got one additional witness just because i was using a 5.8 dbi versus a 3 dbi because where it is located in my house it's basically on the roof without being on the roof outside it is you know attached to uh the molding uh in the middle of my window so then this way it's as high as it can go 
and uh, I don't really plan to use an 8 DBI because there are hills and trees and things like that that I do need to cover. Now, if you're somewhere that is rural, you are just way out there, maybe you're a whole mile outside of a city from where other hotspots are or anything like that, that's where you wanna probably look at the 8 DBI and with the 8 DBI, make sure that you place it as high up as possible because there's really no need for you to go up over anything if you're trying to go as far as you can. So if it's rural and it's not as hilly, 8 DBI is for you. So I, I hope I didn't confuse everybody. I'm pretty sure that should have made sense. I might have repeated a few things, but again, uh, sometimes when it comes down to something important, you do need to repeat it. Now let's talk about all the antennas that I have here. These are the ones that I suggest. These are the ones that I have used. These are, these are the ones that I have seen a lot of really good results. And also too, if you've seen my video from yesterday talking about Nebra, I use the stock antenna. And really, I highly suggest those antennas are Oh, they're okay, but I suggest getting a fiberglass antenna because also too, the nice thing about it is that all of these come with their own wires, their own cables. So then this way you'd be able to attach it away from the miner itself. So it's not attached directly to the, to the miner. So then this way you'd be able to, you know, have a little bit more playroom. Now also too, you might see in the little video where I showed with my buddy's house and also with my house that there is something attached to the window and you might be wondering what that is. That is just a very cheap little $8 little car mount window cling for a phone, but it has a perfect grasp, a perfect, perfect um, clip to hold all of these antennas. So if you're looking for something that just attaches to the window, so this way you're not in between a wall, you're just directly right at that window, you'd be able to take a look at that and I'll also place that below the video inside the description. So here is the very first one I wanna talk about. This is the 3 dBi antenna. This 3 dBi antenna is the one that I've been pushing. It's the one that I've been telling everybody about that I've been using. I've actually started using this one, I believe in February, because I wanted to have my original one run for about three weeks first. Now this one is only 16 inches long and it's $40. So again, very affordable. So I'm just gonna pull it out here so you guys can see what's on the inside. So this is your cable to attach to your antenna and then plug into the miner itself. Now, usually there's always foam when it comes to these, but I did already take those out just so you guys wouldn't have to see that. So this one right here is the 915 megahertz frequency. Uh, this is the three DBI. This is the one that I've used at my house for probably three months straight. Uh, and it's done such a fantastic job. This is the one that's over at my buddy's place right now as well that is getting more rewards than what it did with the stock antenna. And again, it's something very simple, very easy. It's very affordable. It's only $40 and right now helium, I mean, it's kind of lower end right now with its price is about $13, $14. So you really only just have to have a few heliums and you'll get that uh, in rewards, maybe in a day, and maybe it could take two days, depending on where you are and how many witnesses you have, but this will pay itself off super quick, and then you'll be able to make profits right after that. So if you're looking for something, um, again, if you're in a big city, if you're on a lower level, you have, maybe you're in a suburb area, you have hills, you have houses to go over, then you'll be looking at this one here. This is the 3 DBI antenna, um, and this one will be the first one linked inside the description below the video. I'm gonna put them all in the description, basically in order. Now, before I go on any further with all of these antennas, if you guys do appreciate this content, if you guys are learning something new, make sure you guys hit on that subscribe button and also hit on the like and write a comment below the video if you guys have any other questions or suggestions for future videos. Now, this next one I really like because it's an 8 dBi antenna. It's only $40. This one and the one right before this, that 3 dBi, both of these are from Amazon. So if you guys are looking for something from Amazon that's actually fairly, you know, very very affordable uh, and it comes fairly quick. You can take a look at those. Now I do know that some of these might state that they just got out of stock, but they're pretty quick with bringing them in. There was a couple of these that I did purchase that it stated it would take like three or four weeks to come, but it only took like 10 days. So anyways, this is the 8 DBI antenna. I had some really good results with this one. Now, the reason why I like this one and I want to suggest this one is because it has a thicker cable. I just, for some reason, I just, I feel this to be more reliable when it comes down to the thickness of this bad boy when you versus it, you know, versus the other cables. Um, but anyways, uh, this one is a smaller setup. So if you're looking for something that's, you know, eight DBI, but you don't have room for a large, large antenna, maybe in your house, or you have some type of clearance issues with wherever you're placing this, uh, it's an eight DBI that is actually smaller than my three DBI. 
Now, the things that are very important to this is that these are made of fiberglass. You're going to make sure that you get the most gain out of these things. You're going to get the best results when it comes down to pushing these out. So if you're trying to decide if you need this 8 dBi, this means that you are in a big city. You're basically at the very top level. You are above everybody else. Um, or maybe you are somebody that's in a rural location, maybe even a suburb location. Your house is maybe on top of a hill. As long as you are above everybody else and this doesn't have to push a signal high, then you're going to be perfectly fine with this one because this is, again, almost horizontal straight. It's almost just coming right out the top, going horizontal. It's not going up and out like the 5.8 and the 3 dBi. So uh, 40 bucks, Amazon does a really good job, 8 dBi. Now these next two antennas came from rackwireless.com. You can also get this from the CalChip Connected website as well. But I noticed that CalChip does charge a little bit more for each of these antennas. And also too, they take a little bit longer to actually arrive to your house. So if you're looking for something that comes really quick, you can go to rackwireless.com. Both of these will be listed below the video. So this one is a 5.8 dBi antenna. This one is 32 inches long. And this one again cost $40. So this is a really good deal. It also comes with your C clamps, which again, I'm placing these mostly inside of, of houses and places and businesses. So I haven't really used these C clamps too much just yet. Uh, here is the cable as well that I was talking about from before. You can see this cable material versus how thick this one is from before with the other 8 dBi. So inside of here is the one that I have connected here at this house. So this is the one that I have connected to the house. This is the one that you see in the little video. Actually, I'll just place it up on the screen right now. So this is right in between the moldings of my windows. So you can see that this one is just a little bit longer, or I should say quite a bit longer than all the rest. So here is that 3 dBi. And even sometimes too, some people think that this 3 dBi uh, right here is, is fairly large. But when you do compare it versus the stock antennas and all of the, the helium hotspot miners, this one is quite longer. I mean, this is about two or three times the length of what comes on your stock, you know, helium miners. So you can see here just, <laughs> I'm opposite here on this camera. So you can see here just how large this 5.8 is. So you're gonna have 16 inch versus 32 inch. So this one right here uh, is basically double the length. So this is the one that I have at the house. This is the one that found me a additional witness. I'm pretty excited for this one here. Let's see if I can zoom in. <laughs> there we go. It actually looks really good. It's very clean. It's classy. Uh, it's from rackwireless.com as well. So you know that it's coming from a trusted source, a trusted location, uh, just because you know it's made by a company who is all behind Helium versus other third-party antennas but again remember you want to be looking for all these fiberglass antennas not the plastic and rubbery ones so this one is going to be somebody who is kind of like my situation there's not too many hills but i wanted to go just a little bit further because i didn't have to go up as much um, so when you have this 3 dbi you're going to be going up and then out so you could have you know a pretty good range maybe let's just say like maybe four kilometers but you can probably get a good like six kilometers out of this one, maybe even eight kilometers. Again, really depending on the on the terrain. And just because it has a higher DBI, it doesn't mean it's more powerful. It just means it's the, it's the route of the signal that is being pushed out. So this one's gonna go up just a little bit and then it'll go out. Now here's the next one from Rack Wireless and I'll have one more that I'll talk about. I just can't really suggest the other one fully just yet just because I've never fully tested it but I do know that it's good, it's quality, I've done research on it. But here is the other one from rackwireless.com. This one's the 8 dBi, this one is $60, uh, and it's 36 inches long. So uh, with these ones as well, you will be getting your C-clamps, you'll be getting your cable, and I also bought the SMA adapter, just in case if you have male or female compatibility issues when it comes down to plugging these antennas in. Uh, I figured it would be pretty smart to, to buy, and so I did buy that. So here's that 8 dBi antenna. This one is, again, from rackwireless.com. This one is covering your 915 megahertz spectrum. Uh, this one's made of fiberglass. This one is going to be a little bit larger than that 5.8 that we just got done seeing. So if I was to bring them up here, so you can see that I have them basically level right over here. And you're going to have just a few more inches on it. Not much. Now, this one's, a, again, 8 dBi. There's a lot of really cool images up online of people posting these things up. I'll, I'll post a couple images of what you can do with some of these antennas. If it's 
5.8 or 8 dbi but yeah if you're looking for something that is almost a straight horizontal push almost uh, just like this small one right up over here now again i mentioned this one's 8 dbi so is this one uh, and it is so so small so if you're looking for the confined space a location you don't have much space you can go for that one but here's uh, this one this will be the fourth one listed just because we went in order so if you're looking in the description below trying to figure out which one you want uh, this will be the fourth one again uh, 8 dbi we pretty much covered everything there now for this last one it's one that if you want to go for you can get it's from lcom now i have not used it personally so i can't fully back this thing but this one is pretty massive <laughs> um this one i can't remember i think this one is sitting at uh 58 inches so if i was to take this 8 dbi over here and if i was to place it so remember this one was was actually fairly long and then when you compare it versus this uh quite a bit longer <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it's you, you kind of get the point. So this one right here, the, the tall, tall, tall one, 8 dBi, it's from Elcom. If you're looking for something that is outdoor, you're going to be pushing it up way, way, way high up. Uh, again, I posted a couple images from like the Helium Twitter of just a couple different users who are putting it up on, you know, on, um, on a table, putting it up on a roof. There's so many cool things you can do. So if you don't like if you if you don't feel so comfortable putting in something outside, then you can always go for something indoors. You can do something like what I did where I put it, um, you know, in the molding. You could do something like my buddy did where it's just, you know, attached to a window or you can go for something that's even smaller and like this. Um, but again, that one is Elcom. I'll place it. That'll be the fifth one listed, even though I've never used it, so I can't fully back it. But there is really good reviews and good information on it. So this is the end of the video. If you guys appreciated the video, give it a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.